Thank you, um, at Count Corlin. Taoiseach, um, as you are aware, the Secretary General of the Department of Justice is before the Justice Committee uh, this afternoon to answer questions. However, when accepting the invitation, uh, Secretary General Purcell wrote to the Committee on May the 13th saying that while he'll answer most of the questions, he would not be in a position to answer any questions in relation to the very mysterious set of circumstances leading to the departure of former Commissioner um, Canlan. Following a meeting between you, Taoiseach, the former Minister Shatter, the Secretary in your own department, Martin Fraser, and Secretary General Purcell on March the 24th. Uh, now, I think this uh, failure or this refusal to put to tell the full story to the committee is very worrying and somewhat bizarre because on the one hand we talk and we hear a lot about strengthening the role of committees, giving them the capacity to get answers to questions quickly uh, that are in the public interest, but on the other hand now we see here almost an attempt essentially to gag the committee. But Tisha, you perhaps could be helpful in that there's nothing to stop you, Tisha, uh, from giving the full truth to this House and to give a full statement outlining all of the circumstances uh, leading to the forced um, uh, resignation of the, of the Commissioner. And I think, Tisha, you could give a full statement to this House, particularly about the meeting between yourself, the former Minister for Justice, the Secretary General of your, of your Department, and the Secretary General of the Department of Justice on that Monday evening before he was dispatched out to the Commissioner's House. You could tell us, for example, what instructions you gave to Secretary General of Justice. What was he told to say to the Commissioner? Why was it indicated that he wouldn't survive the Cabinet meeting the following um, morning? I mean, Tishik, this is the first time in 35 years that a Garda Commissioner was forced to step down. It's a, it's a very serious issue of public interest. And there's absolutely nothing stopping you from just telling us, telling the public and telling this House all of the circumstances leading around that particular meeting uh, and also uh, the instructions that were given to Secretary General Purcell as he went out to the Commissioner's home uh, to indicate to him um, that perhaps he should consider Thank his position. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Martin, for, his, uh, for his, um, his question. And by the way, congratulations to you and all the other people who were elected over the weekend from different parties and none. Um, this is a serious matter. I've already said on the record of the House here publicly uh, my uh, requirement as Taoiseach uh, uh, to deal with this particular issue. And the issue is that, uh, that when the information that was brought to my attention, which, was, which I'd never had before, was of such serious importance that um, I felt it uh, right and proper that the Garda Commissioner of the day I should be informed of my concern and my anxiety uh, because I would have to inform the Cabinet and my Cabinet colleagues uh, the following morning of the information uh, that was brought to my attention. So my requirement was that the uh, former Garda Commissioner would be made aware of my uh, concerns and my anxiety arising from the information that I was given. I've already said that on the record of the Dáil here. Uh, following uh, following uh, the following days, the Cabinet Committee, the Oireachtas Committee on Justice, met and considered the matter. They wrote a letter and they said, we require uh, that there should be a commission of investigation to deal with this matter. And one of the terms of reference for that commission of investigation should be the events leading to the retirement of the former Gala Commissioner. Um, the government received that letter, I received the letter, the government acted upon that letter, and within two weeks the government had set out terms of reference, including the specific requirement of the, uh, of the Oireachtas Committee, uh, and appointed a sole chairman to conduct the business of that commission of investigation. Um, now you want to change that and have a political, uh, a political discussion and a political um, 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 discussion about, about that issue. So, uh, like, David Martin, be clear on this. I've already said this on the public record. My, uh, my concern, my sole concern here, was that the Commissioner of the Day should be informed of my anxiety and my concern because of the information that was brought to my attention uh, on the Sunday and the Monday. 
um, and following receipt of a formal request from the Arachthus, uh, Arachthus Committee, uh, the government responded, the government set up a, ter a commission of investigation, and the government inserted into the terms of reference the specific request of the Oireachtas Committee. And that request, uh, one of the terms of reference, was to deal with the, uh, was, was to deal with the, uh, the matter of the retirement of the former Garda Commissioner. Um, and that's the, that's the position. Uh, there's nothing mysterious about it, but it is, 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 is it arising from a very serious matter. And when that serious matter was brought to my attention, I felt it incumbent upon me, as a person who sits in this seat here, uh, to be in a position to know uh, that the Garda Commissioner was appraised of my concerns and my anxieties, because I was going to have to inform my Cabinet colleagues uh, the following morning of the information that I had received. Thank you. Uh, you, I think, would have done the very same. Taoiseach, um, one minute. Thank you. First of all, Taoiseach, the matter that came to your attention that caused you such great anxiety it was actually brought to the attention of the department and the minister some weeks earlier by the commissioner. Now, so that doesn't stack up, Taoiseach. And the next question, Taoiseach, is it's very bizarre. All that Mr. Purcell apparently now was told, would you please go to the commissioner and tell him the Taoiseach is filled with anxiety? <laughs> um, don't say any more. But we're, now being, we're now being led to believe don't, that he said nothing else. He didn't tell him he wouldn't survive the cabinet meeting. He didn't tell him he was going to be sacked. Just that the teacher gets filled with anxiety about something that he has learned today that the very commissioner had informed his minister two to three weeks earlier. Teacher, we're not getting the full story. And there is silence. There's an extraordinary silence on a very substantive question, teacher, on a very substantive issue namely the removal of a Garda Commissioner. And Taoiseach, it was not for you, Question, please. Thank you to take that initiative, actually, under the legislation. The Cabinet, if, that, if you are so minded, you should have informed your Cabinet colleagues in advance of any dispatching of a, of a senior public service servant to the Garda Commissioner. And I would like to know the full circumstances of what transpired at that meeting on the Monday evening between you, the former Minister Shatter, the Secretary General Purcell and Secretary General Fraser. Thank you. Because what's going on here, Tisha, essentially is that this has been buried. And it's been buried for a long time for political reasons. Sorry, we're over time. Thank you. And I would ask you, Tisha, would you come into the House and give a full statement? Will you please do that? Because you know the story, Tisha. You know what happened. Thank you. So all I'm asking, would you please come in and tell us what happened? Thank fully you. and without any equivocation. Thank you. Well, Deputy Martin, it wasn't the case of uh, having the former Garda Commissioner told that the Taoiseach was full of anxiety. Because what was brought to my attention had gone on for 30 years. And you now know of tapes and recordings in Garda stations all over the country and the case in West Cork, which is still unsolved in terms of a woman being murdered. Now, if you want to make, if you want to make some sort of uh, glib remarks about that, well, then that's your entitlement. But I was informed, I was informed, please, please, Deputy please, Martin, please, please. I was informed uh, of the seriousness of this matter, which, I, which, which was new to me and new to the country. Now, uh, the... Um, the, you, you're quite right, and I understand my responsibilities uh, in the sense of, um, in the, sense of uh, the Garda Commissioner being the Garda Commissioner. I don't have the authority to sack anybody. I don't have that authority. But I do have a responsibility, I do have a responsibility, Deputy Martin, to see that in this job here, that the Commissioner of the Garda the other day is, a, is aware of what I'd been appraised of. And we'll be made aware of that. And, and, please, please. and, and the instruction. And, the, and my, and my, and my, my request. Are over time and I'm going to switch off the My request Thank you. was that the Commissioner would be fully appraised of the anxieties and the concerns arising from the information that had been given to me. Now, let me repeat again. You know, we have a process here. The Oireachtas Committee met, considered this. They wrote to me and to the government. 
They said you must have a commission of investigation, you must have the terms of reference included in it that deal with this matter. The sole member has written to me, as, uh, as he's entitled to do, uh, conducting the commission of investigation, uh, to respond to him. And I will comply with his request, and I will give him full and uh, comprehensive response to his query. Because this House set up a commission of investigation under a Supreme Court judge, whereas you want it into a political conversation all the time. Thank you. So I have, been, I have been contacted by the sole member. I will respond fully and comprehensively to the sole member. This House put that process in place. Here we go. I've already said, I put it on the public record. I was concerned about what I heard. I needed to tell my cabinet colleagues the following morning. Therefore, the Garda Commissioner had a right to be appraised of those concerns and anxieties by me. And that's what I asked that the Secretary General would do. Thank you.